Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the Morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth. Looking at a beautiful fall day. It's October 1st, 2024. Should be dry. Uh, Going to be about 65 to 70. A breeze, mix of sun and clouds. This is what you want on October 1st. Candy? Yes, beautiful fall day. I love the colors of fall. I am so into them. They're so gorgeous. Yes, you decorated. You have a beautiful setup going on there. Yes, I do. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, No, you do. You sent me a picture of like this. It thrills me every time I walk by it. And that's all that life that matters. A little something like that. You know, treat yourself. So when does the fall change to the Christmas season? When do you move that out? Some probably right after Thanksgiving. Okay. All right. So you you are strict with the old rules. Like you're going through Thanksgiving, then you're going to decorate for right. Christmas. Because I do love the colors of fall. Yeah. I. You know, that's the thing. I think people spend too much time focused on getting ready for Christmas. They're missing the beauty of fall. You're right it's about so that. gorgeous. The colors, everything. I have my little lights, as you saw, and I love it. I just love it. So, yeah, I just did it this weekend. It'll stay up till right after Thanksgiving. All right. Very good. Very, very good. Um, let me uh, run this by you. One in four people, one in four Americans particularly, Say they have seen a UFO. What about you, Candy? I have not. I do believe we're not here alone. I don't think we've ever been here alone, and I'm not quite sure we've been here without coming from somewhere else. Okay? I'm going to leave it at that. Um, But I totally know one day I will be proven right. Even my son, Casey, who used to say, stop the hippy-dippy stuff, Mom. (laughs) Even he has come around and said, you know what, Mom? I believe you now. I've seen a lot of stuff. I've watched a lot of things. I've read about it. And I, I'm completely on board with you. I said, thank you, Casey. I knew you would come around. Well, I will agree with you in this sense. If we, you know, how egotistical are we if we think in this giant universe we are the only living, like, human-type creatures? You know what I mean? Like, right. There, there has to be on one of these planets somewhere far away, like the, that we, you know, that we can't get to or whatever it is. There has to be something. Like, are we that, uh, you know, no, into ourselves I'm not. I'm that not. We, we, we can't be the only ones, right? No, absolutely not. All right. Yeah. No, by the way, you ever see, you've seen the movie Independence Day, right? I don't think I have. Oh, come on. I I really, truly don't think I have. The blockbuster from the mid-90s, Will Smith. I know who you're talking about. I know what movie you're referring to, but no, I've never seen it. All right. And and by the way, I'm not making fun of you. If you get a chance, go see it. There is a scene that is you. Now, for anyone who knows the movie the way I do, there is a scene where, you know, some people are scared of the aliens that come. Some people, you know, there's different types of people in the movie. But there's one group of people that make signs and welcome the aliens. And they welcome. go. Right. This would be you. So what happens is they go to the top of the building with the signs. And as the spaceship is opening up and there and I envision you as this woman and she's up there at the top of the building. We welcome you. Welcome to our planet. And just as she's doing that, they blow her and the building up. <laughs> That's you in Independence Day. 100%. That is so sad. <laughs> That's oh, you. I'm glad I never saw that movie. You would laugh if you saw the scene because that oh, goodness that is you. Anyway, one in four people say they've seen a UFO. Uh, 17% of us think we'll make contact with aliens in the next decade. I believe about, that too. Um, if we make contact, will they come in I think peace? we've already made contact, okay? But I think it's going to be for the populace now, like everyone. Yeah. So All right. in the next decade, I definitely think that. So it's split 50-50 whether we think they come in peace or not. Um, And, you know, how we think that goes, making contact. I, never mind what I think. Okay. All right, all right. I'll be back. Check back with me in 10 years. By the way, the best uh, state 
to see a UFO is Arizona. The most sightings is Phoenix, by the gotcha. way. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they had the Phoenix lights, which was a huge thing where everybody saw these lights and there was no explanation. And yeah. I don't know that one. Oh, you don't? You have to know Phoenix lights. Just go on Google, Google that. You'll see it was a whole thing. Everybody All right. saw these lights. All right. I'm going to check it out. Uh, by the way, I was going to tell you another story, but I'll just summarize it real quick because uh, no need to get into it. Um, and may I recommend just before we stop this segment, yeah. Ancient Aliens on the History Channel thing. Mm. Great show. Learn a lot. Go there. Maybe because I'll... Uh... You can on demand Ryan, and unless he sees it in front of his face he doesn't believe it but that's just ridiculous oh, oh look at you yep. very quietly uh downplaying his thoughts on the radio very right, good right mm. um so there was this other article really i want to get into uh, the national day so i'll summarize this i thought it was cute um a guy was uh, trying to get to court he stopped at a gas station he didn't have a car and he's at a gas station asking people for rides because he had to get to court to fight a stolen vehicle charge and nobody would give him a ride so he stole a vehicle from the gas station hey he tried to do it the right way and when he walked into court the cops were waiting for him and they <laughs> they, they got him Threw him, threw him in jail for the new charts. Yeah. Uh, oh. Candy, it's National Taco Day today. Now, I do you know anyone who doesn't like tacos? Not a one. Mm -mm. Not one person. Nope. They're so good, no matter what kind you have. And you can have all kinds. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the beef, but, but shrimp, I'll take a shrimp taco, sure. Chicken, pork. Yeah cheese anything yes now if i'm having a beef taco i will have the beef with cheese sour cream and salsa uh, or, or taco and sauce fish tacos are so good mm, yes why not absolutely uh it is the first tuesday in october national taco day it's national fruit at work day today do you ever eat fruit while you're at work you know no i don't eat anything while i'm working um but I'm not a big fruit eater. Do you eat yeah. a lot of fruit? No, I should eat more fruit. I really should. Ryan loves fruit. He eats fruit every day. He likes raspberries and blackberries and bananas and orange. Every kind of fruit he loves. I'm, I don't. Elijah yesterday, uh, this was after our uh, Father Sunday. We went to Lidl and bought stuff yesterday. He made a cucumber with carrot and imitation crab meat salad yesterday. Yum. Brian eats that crab meat, that fake crab meat, too. I'm not a huge yeah. fan of it. Yep. Just a, a touch of ranch dressing he threw in there. He said it was Lovely. excellent. Hey, yeah. A chef, an actor, what's he going to be? That's my boy, Elijah. That's my boy. Um, it's National Fire Pup Day. Dalmatians, that's who we recognize today. All right. Yeah, the uh, of course the the symbol of the uh, firefighter, the Very Dalmatian, true. and of course who could forget a one hundred and one Dalmatian? I mean, of oh. course, isn't that with the spaghetti kiss? Right? Is that no. right? No, no. That the Dalmatians? No. Oh what, man. What was the spaghetti kiss in Disney? I forget the name of the movie. It's two different kinds of oh. dogs. Oh, love. Stop it now. Lady and the Tramp. There you go. And he rolls the meatball to her, or vice versa. This we're not talking right. about that now. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What's the problem? You have a problem? What? I have no problem. Move All right. On. I'm, I, I think I'm getting sick. It's National Pumpkin Spice Day today. They go crazy. But I have to say, Brian brought home these pumpkin cookies yesterday from Aldi's, and they were they were pretty rocking. Yeah, I'm not a pumpkin person. Uh, National Green City Day. What is your city doing to go green? What is it doing? Yeah, time to get with the environment. Uh, it's National Black Dog Day. I'll tell you, um, I don't, does this count Chocolate Labs as a black dog? I love Chocolate Labs the way they look. They're so I cute. It might count. I don't know. I don't know it's, in the dog world if it counts. Uh, National Hair Day today. Yes, glad I have it. Yeah, go and go get it done. That's yes. a, National Hair Day. And finally, National Homemade Cookie Day today. Nothing better. Mm, the smell of chocolate chip cookies I mean, in the if house. if you're going to bake, I'm hoping it's cookies. Yeah. Candy, a dad from South Carolina, David Jones, walked 30 miles to get to his daughter's wedding in Tennessee over the weekend. Wow. Roads were blocked because of flooding from Hurricane Helene. So instead of the two-hour drive, 
David walked 30 miles to get to the wedding. That's, that, now, that's a commitment. Yeah. Um, and I'm trying to figure out how a 30 mile, how 30 mile, well, how, uh, anyway, it's a nice story, but I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> you mean how many minutes it takes to walk a mile? Is that well, what you're how, trying to figure out? How is 30 miles supposed to be a two hour drive? I don't, anyway, long story short, he got there. Well done. Very good. All right. Uh, speaking of the hurricane, Carolina Panthers owner David Tepper announced that he and his wife are donating $3 million to start. They'll donate more, but $3 million to the relief efforts. Very the- generous, very nice. Yes, and uh, finally, a six-year-old boy in Rhode Island, Luca Arpin, started a poop scooping business to make enough money to get himself a kitten. Now, his mom works at an animal shelter, and he likes to help out. He wanted a kitten that was up for adoption and asked how he could raise the money. So they came up with the poop scooping idea and the rest is history. If a child will go out and clean up poop, give that child what they want. I agree. I agree. Uh, Candy, before we part, I want you to give good vibes. It is a match day today for Leah. Let's have some. Some good thoughts about the tennis match, the weather, I'm sending, everything. I'm sending good thoughts your way. Can you feel them? We want to keep. I do feel them. There, Actually, I, there you go. For, I think they're legitimate. I feel yes, the they vibe. Are. I feel a little guilty that I wanted it to rain the other day and it rained. So now Thank I have you. to make up for that. We want light wind today and just a nice day for tennis. That's what I we're think looking you're forward to. You're going to have one. Go, Leah. All right. Uh, Candy, I want you to enjoy the rest of your day, please. And I want you to enjoy the rest of your day and try not to be too stressed out over tennis. All right, no. Is Nick available for you today? Yeah, well, he's got his own issues. His daughter's got a match today going on as well. Oh, boy. So there will be a – there'll be a text chat tonight and then a conversation tomorrow morning for therapy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. All right, well, I'm glad you have him. And you have each other. It's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, Candy, um, I'm going to be here till 10. Then Jim O'Brien, Murph Dog, Jay Letterman. Uh, beautiful fall day. Let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. On My Country, 96.1.